Welcome to video number 16 SQL reporting service and today we are going to learn the parameter based report part 2. In the last report what we did was like you know we give a user a functionality using which a user can enter a type of a product and based on which it will give you a records back and but sometimes it happens like you know you enter some messy things which they don't understand and you don't get anything. So your shitty box comes back to you and tells you hey I got a problem the users are not doing great I mean like they are making some mistakes while typing the product name so we need a better solution so you look at your boss and you think what can we do so we have a class solution so the solution is from the front end when you look at the report you're going to give the user an option to choose the products all right you will give the user an option to choose a product when the user chooses a product behind the scene we will pass the product ID to our query and it will fetch the record for us so right now it sounds very confusing so I'll just show you how it can be done alright but at least you got the idea what I'm trying to project here right so I'm gonna go to instead to make it less confusing I'm gonna delete this guy first so this guy is out of box let's create a query I don't need to create any connection or anything if you're following along right so this is what we had done in the past video we just made uh, use the four tables we did a join and we try to take the values out which you can see in the join so I'm gonna delete this where query as well so you're gonna tell your boss alright boss shut up and let me work now and you will come here and you'll say equal to add the rate product <coughs> ID alright and let's execute again quickly and enter 1 this is chai you're getting 38 records let's enter 2 you're getting 44 so all good all okay now hit okay and you can see your product ID is right here alright <coughs> the next thing what you want is to configure this product ID because right now if you preview it it is asking you for an ID when you click one it will give you a report now this is not v1 so we need to tackle this problem so we need to identify the parameter properties when you go there you get a visit I mean it's kind of a prompt and in general you can see the product ID is kind of an integer and there are options like available values so what we can do is you know the none means we have to enter the things manually specify value means we can specify the values manually or there's a better option the get the values from the query now get the value from the query is basically what we want is we want our user okay to enter I mean not to enter to select a product name from the front end and from behind when they select the product ID will be passed so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a data set I'm gonna call this data set as product now just hang on for a while I'm gonna choose a connection data source which is nothing but which points to you know on the right hand side the data says uh, data source generic one I'm gonna create a query I'm gonna add a table I'm gonna add simply products I'm gonna add I'm gonna close I'm gonna choose product ID product name that's it and I'm gonna let's execute how many products we have 77 let's hit ok ok and it's done now let's come here select the properties again select available values get query by get values from query and I'm gonna choose the data set as data set products so now this data set is giving me a flexibility is like what label you want to present and the front end so I'm saying like at front end I want my users to see only the product name I don't want to conf confuse them by a product ID next thing he tells you alright you're choosing a product name but when he choose the product name what should be the field you are feeding me so I'm saying alright whatever product they are choosing based on which you give me the product ID I'll hit OK and that product ID will come here all right it will come here it will fit right in here and it will give you appropriate records so I'm gonna hit OK now I'm gonna save everything what I've done and I'm gonna do the preview all right so what just happened I am getting a drop down all right this is cool 
so I'm gonna choose chai the moment I choose chai behind the scene when I gonna put uh, I'm gonna say view report it is going to pass a 1 to my data set and the 1 is going to give me a records I hope you understand this when I say chai alright behind the scene this product ID holds the value as 1 and it goes to this query as 1 in here like this 1 and you get the records right so the user get an illusion user feels like alright I'm just passing a value called as Chang to the database but in reality you are passing a user is passing to to the database and from which we are getting the data so I hope this video gives you an idea like how can you create uh, you know this kind of reports and <clears throat> it's very easy to configure if you are watching my steps step by step you can take uh, different scenarios or uh, different parameters and it, it will work for you definitely alright so I hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video or if this video help you in some way then please give me a thumbs up to my video and please subscribe to, to, to my channel and thank you for watching this